حاج قاسم سلیمانی فرمود اکنون شش ارتش بیرون از سرزمین ایران برای شما سازماندهی کرد یک ارتش در عراق به نام هشت و شعبی و یک ارتش در یمن On March 4, 2006, by detonating a bomb at the shrine of Imam Hassan Askari in Samara, the IRGC Kids force plunged Iraq into a wave of bloody sectarian war and mayhem. We saw from the beginning that there was a close connection between the Quds force and the Shia militia. But we didn't really begin to see the full impact of Iran's influence until after the bombing of the Al-Askari Mosque in Samara in February of 2006. In October 2006, amidst the ongoing conflict, the Quds force, affiliated with the Iraqi branch of Al-Qaeda, established the Islamic State of Iraq. Headquartered in Baqaba, Diyala province, the group sought to fulfill Quds force objectives through the assassination of Shia dissenters, attacks on U.S. forces, bombings, and instigating insecurity in Diyala and other Sunni-populated areas of Iraq. Following the departure of U.S. forces from Iraq, the group's operations dwindled and were nearly forgotten. However, on April 9, 2013, amidst the Syrian civil war and the impending fall of the Bashar al-Assad regime, the group unexpectedly declared in Syria that it had founded the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, also known as ISIS. Three months later, on February 22, 2013, the Keds force, in collaboration with security forces and allies close to Nouri al-Maliki, the then Prime Minister of Iraq, orchestrated the escape of nearly 2,000 prisoners from Abu Ghraib prison. These escapees were directly transported to Syria. The Iranian regime aimed to strengthen ISIS forces through this operation, enabling them to join the conflict in Syria against the revolutionary forces opposing Bashar al-Assad. In early 2014, armed uprisings erupted in the Al-Anbar province of Iraq by the Iraqi nationalists, making significant advances. On June 6 of the same year, the Syria-based ISIS surprisingly showed up and seized control of Mosul in Iraq facing almost no resistance. Nearly 50,000 Iraqi army personnel, along with Mosul province officials, fled in the face of the advance. According to an Iraqi military commander, Maliki, acting as Iraq's commander-in-chief, ordered the army to retreat from Mosul. It was evident that ISIS had taken control of Mosul in complete coordination with the Iraqi prime minister, who was aligned with the Iranian regime. After the occupation of Mosul by ISIS, a surge of violence and brutality against the Iraqi people ensued. This situation allowed Khamenei to achieve his objective and provide a justification for the official presence of the Keds force and the establishment of the Popular Mobilization Forces, Hasht al-Shabi, in Iraq. Under Qasem Soleimani's orders and centered around the Badr organization, the PMF claimed its mission was to defend Shiite shrines and combat Takfiri enemies. Soleimani, therefore, wielded significant influence in Iraq. <laughs> رابطتون باش چه جوریه؟ رابطش سرباز سرباز هاش قاسه؟ سرباز هاش قاسه افتخار Under the pretext of combating ISIS, Qasem Soleimani revealed the presence of the IRGC Keds force in Iraq, resulting in heinous crimes. Under his command, the PMF committed massacres in Jarf al-Sakr, Amurli, and Karkuk, justifying the killings as part of the fight against ISIS. Another atrocity orchestrated by the PMF under Soleimani's command was the genocide in Tikrit, where thousands of residents were brutally slaughtered. As the war against ISIS was coming to an end, and the PMF faced a loss of relevance, on December 6, 2016, the Iraqi parliament, where supporters of the regime held the majority, approved a proposal recognizing the PMF as a separate entity from the official Iraqi army. This force, fully commanded by the IRGC Keds force, played a crucial role in causing unrest in Iraq and suppressing the popular uprising in 2019.